Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do uh, your love reading. This is a general reading and timing is flexible. Um, I do do these readings every week because the energy can change. So just keep that in mind. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box if you want to uh, request a personal reading or if you'd like to enter my giveaway. Um, there's also a new link below, okay, uh, where I'm posting the winners of the giveaways with what prizes they won. Uh, so you can check that out below. There's also a link for my playlist if you'd like to check out your other signs um, and a link for the decks I use. A lot of people ask, so I have the most common ones there. So let's get started with your reading, Leo. I hope you're healthy and well and having a happy, <laughs> happy day let's get started okay wow I just got that uh, the same card came out um, I think it was for Aries okay so let's see what we have here so I want to say I wasn't gonna say it but um, as before I was shuffling, before I got on camera, I was hearing the word, word disappointment, okay? So Leo, I feel like there may be something uh, that you're disappointed about, okay? So with that, uh, it may not be for everyone, it may just be someone needed to hear that uh, for whatever reason, but the, I'm getting that, I was getting that emotion there. You have number 41, which is five, and you have angel of strength, which is five, okay? So two fives here. So if you're seeing synchronicities of five, um, and I didn't say this is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel and um, angel of strength, okay? So I definitely get here a uh, strong angel presence and presence from your guides, okay? I feel like they're trying to help you through a situation right now. I feel like you're going through some sort of conflict, disappointment, or you may be going through some sort of transition here. Okay, so I feel like they're telling you, um, you know, try to be strong uh, during this time. Uh, this is also representing uh, the seventh chakra, which is about uh, your connection to spirit, your, in your intuition. Can't even be about inspiration, okay? So I feel definitely you're, you're receiving uh, messages uh, from your guides and your angels right now through this uh, disappointment or through a transition that you are going through, okay? Now this has to do with love, okay? It can't even deal with other things going on in your life too, uh, but let's pull some more cards, see what comes out. Okay, so we're gonna pull two cards for your energy, two cards for your person, and then three cards for the overall energy, okay? For most of you, this will be with someone you're already dealing with, but it does not exclude new love, so just know that. So let's pull two cards uh, for Leo's energy. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Let's get two cards for Leo's energy. So we have the Knight of Cups, and we have, he got the strength card again, Leo energy. And I didn't say it here with this lion. This is also Leo energy. Let's get two cards um, for your person's energy. Let's get two cards for Leo's person's energy. Okay, we have the five of swords. Ooh, and we have the five of wands. Maybe it's your person that is having the disappointment or the conflict. You look like the strong one here, Leo. Oh, I was gonna, uh, I gotta pull three more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the, oh, the overall energy for you and your person? You have the hermit card, you have the star card, and you have the two of swords. All right. Bottom of the deck, there's your energy there, Leo. Queen of wands, okay. So, Leo, before I get started, I'm going to pull, uh, call out the signs. Just know they can be any sign and uh, roles can be reversed. You have uh, your energy here, Leo. You have Sag and you have Aries. You have uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Strong Aquarius here with the star card, strong uh, Virgo energy here as well. You have, uh, you have water energy, but this is showing up in your energy, so you may have water in your chart. Your person, you have uh, 
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Aries, Sag, or you may be dealing with another Leo. So let's get started. So your energy here, um, Leo, you're showing up as the Strength card, the Leo card, and the Knight of Cups, okay? I feel, Leo, you may be wanting um, an apology from someone, okay? I feel, um, <laughs> I get this energy like you're standing strong in the situation. I feel like there is some sort of disappointment and you are wanting um, this person to um, express uh, either an apology or it can just be you wanting this person to express uh, how they are feeling about a situation or even just how they are feeling about you in general. It can also be, you know, you just really wanting them to take some sort of action, okay? But I feel like in this situation, I feel, Leo, you are holding back, okay? I feel like, you know, um, I feel like this definitely is someone you have uh, romantic feelings uh, for, and um, I feel like your strength is really going to get you through this, okay? I'm going to go to your person's energy. You have the uh, for your person the Five of Swords and we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, your person, okay, so your person may be somebody who may have been playing games, okay, or they may have, I feel like they may have been fighting something, fighting their emotions, okay, somebody who may be caught up in their head um, or they may have gone through some past um, hurts okay that really leaves them conflicted inside but i feel like your your person is fighting something here and it it may be their own internal struggle but it also can be that they're disappointed okay i feel like there may have been some conflict between the two of you too and i feel like they may be feeling uh, the conflict as well we're going to get back to that we'll pull some more cards on what their thoughts feelings and actions are but let's do the overall energy so we have the hermit card okay i feel with the seventh chakra here as i said i feel like uh you're more spiritually connected your intuition is heightened i feel like you're really listening to your intuition at this time and you're really uh trying to find the best uh either course of action okay because you're showing up as the queen of wands or what the best path is for you I sense here again with the star card, I feel like you're definitely really connected right now, okay? I feel like you're trying to keep your emotions in balance here. There may be some healing that you are going through as well, okay? Um, but I feel like you're also thinking, you know, is there hope in this situation, all right? Because you also have the two of swords. I'm hearing like I feel like you're on the fence about this situation, okay? Because I feel like you're holding back. You're being strong. Your person is the one I feel here who is struggling. And I sense here that uh, with this two of swords, um, you're not taking any action. Again, you're not taking any action. I feel like you're wanting more clarity from your person, okay? Before uh, something can progress here so i sense you know you may even be indecisive about this connection okay so you know as i said you know i don't see this as new love i feel like this is someone that you are dealing with okay but we'll see what comes out thank you angels and spirit for your guidance uh what is um leo's person's upcoming thoughts or actions we'll get the ten of coins Huh. And we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. Look at that. I said they're stuck in their head. You know, look what you have here. You have the Nine of Swords. Aquarius Libra uh, energy. So your person's definitely guarded here. Um, I also see, um, I feel like some of, some, you know, this person, this is Ten of Pentacles. So this person may be all about their coin right now, really working on their finances, trying to put money away. Um, but it also, I sense here that they're very guarded when it comes to commitment, okay? And that might be what they're caught up in their head about, all right? Um, you know, it can just be about their own stability, all right? Um, I also sense here um, they may have a hard time, too, talking about commitment, okay, um, about the future, 
So let's uh, get some more clarity and see uh, what other messages there are. We're going to do uh, clarity on the Hermit, the Star, and the Two of Swords. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Hermit, the Star card, and the Two of Swords here? Please, please provide messages here or guidance. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Hermit card here, please? Okay, Ace of Cups. The uh, Eight of Swords. Yeah, Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> The full card. All right. I feel with this full card, you're really trying to listen to your intuition, doing what's good for your soul. This is someone with the full card who, uh, you know, may be starting on a new path, leaving the past baggage behind, feeling happy, go lucky, just uh, really appreciating um, what lies ahead. Okay. Uh, doing, I, I always see that card as doing what's good for your soul here with the full card. You see uh, with the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Swords, right? I feel like your intuition uh, may be telling you uh, to move on from this situation, but you're feeling stuck, okay? So I feel like that is the question here. That's what you're really trying to... Uh, find the right path for you. You know, should I move on to new love? Um, uh, you know, a feeling of being stuck because your person is stuck within their head is the energy that I'm getting here. So if they're stuck, that's going to make you stuck as well. So I sense here, you know, some of you, there's a sense of wanting to move on um, to something new, okay? Taking that risk, taking that leap of faith. But I feel like some of you, you know, may be, you know, having some fears about moving on. Is that the right decision? Okay. Let's uh, put, get some clarity on the star card. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the star card here, please? Why is the star card here? Okay. We have the six of cups. Okay. The king of wands. Okay. There's your counterpart because you were showing up as the king of, or queen of wands. There's the king of wands. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Five of Pentacles. So through this conflict or whatever is happening here, you may have felt left out in the cold by your per by your person, whether you know the two of you are not together or just maybe in general they weren't focused on you. Maybe they were focused on their coin. Okay, uh, maybe not making you feel important. Okay, or putting in the time and energy. Um, with the uh, Six of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So I sense with the Star card, I feel like things are still hopeful between you and your person, okay? I feel this person definitely has a very strong connection here with the Six of Cups. I do feel that you do make them happy. Their struggle is their struggle. It has nothing to do with you. It's their internal struggle, their baggage, whatever they're dealing with. Um, I do sense here your person is going to take some sort of action uh, with the King of Wands. I feel like they may um, give you some sort of gift or give you some sort of flowers. I also see here with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like there is uh, some good news coming in. So it can be, you know, you may receive a very positive message from this person. As I said, they may give you some sort of gift as well but I do see them taking some sort of action, okay? Um, I'm gonna get to the new love thing in a moment because I do see the potential here. There could be opportunity for new love as well, but let's see what comes out here. You have uh, the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here, please? Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Two of Swords here? You have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, the Ten of Cups, and you have the Death card, okay? Could be dealing with the Scorpio, bottom of the deck here, you have the Hangman. Okay. Interesting. So the Hangman here, um, you know, this can talk about delays, um, but I also feel like this could be your person 
having an epiphany because as I see here, I see that they do want to take some sort of action here. Okay. It can also be, um, I also want to say this can be about you, you know, sacrificing. You may have sacrificed a lot for this person in the past. And now that is becoming more clear, you know, that's part of your intuition here that you are recognizing uh, what you have sacrificed in this relationship with them. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and you have the Death card, okay? And then here's the Two of Swords, all right? So for some of you, I feel like this is, you know, is something on your mind, okay? Wondering uh, if for your own happiness, uh, should you move on, okay? Should you move on and open yourself up to new love, okay? But I feel here it's just, it may just be Scorpio energy. But I sense here um, that there is going to be a change. There is going to be a transition, a transformation um, of the connection of the relationship. And um, But right now your person's energy is, um, they're caught up in their head. I'm going to pull three cards for the possible outcome, and then we'll see uh, what happens here. Uh, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the possible outcome here for uh, Leo and their person? Let's get three cards. Okay, you have the Eight of Swords. You have, you got the Death card again. That can be a Scorpio. <laughs> and you have the Six of Coin. Okay, bottom of the deck here you have the page of wands yeah i feel again there's going to be communication here um i feel like for some of you okay this is going to be different for everyone some of you i feel here you're going to have this epiphany all right that you do want to move on okay there may be somebody actually new who here that reaches out to you as well because you have two pages you have the page of wands and you have uh the page of pentacles over here so it can signify new communication from somebody new, but I I feel like for a lot of you, you know, here's this this past energy of feeling stuck, okay, feeling stuck, not quite sure what to do, indecisive about your situation. I feel the guidance from your angels here is to just kind of hold back, hold back the emotions. You have the death card again, can be a Scorpio energy, okay. So I feel the action that this person is taking, the action, uh, some sort of message here. You have the star card. Um, I feel there is gonna be a transformation in your situation, okay? So there may have been a past ending, but I feel now uh, this person is going to reach out you, to you and there's gonna be some sort of new beginning. I felt the transition in the beginning of the reading. So whatever disappointment uh, you had here, I feel it's transforming, okay, into something here with the Six of Pentacles that's going to be more balanced, okay? So I sense here your person is going to put in more work, okay? So if your situation ended with someone, uh, I do sense that they want to put in the work, okay? Um, to gain more balance with you, or if it was just a, a confrontation or a conflict, I do sense that they are going to put in the effort. But as I said, for some of you, I feel you possibly could move on uh, because somebody new may be entering your life. Okay, so let's, um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna pull one card here from, <coughs> I'm sorry, from postcards uh, from Spirit. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have uh, for Leo? This is a message from your spirit guides or can be from a loved one who has passed on. Let's get one card uh, for Leo. There it is. Okay. So, dearest Leo, we have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less you actually do. So if you are willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective, and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. 
right now, whatever is going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects of it you need to see to make an informed choice. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. So moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, or that's interesting. As you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and a richer existence overall, all of us over here want you to be all you can be. We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? So very nice uh, message for you, Leo, on point with your situation. I hope you gained some clarity today. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, details are below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.